much out like in my last video, I talked about the Utah Jazz's better than expected level of play this season and how they came back from a big deficit against the Knicks on Tuesday night to extend their win streak to nine. We have a similar story and a similar example as that happened once again last night. This time though, it surprisingly happened with the forgotten about Houston Rockets against a tough Western Conference playoff team. What's up guys, SCJ here, and if you enjoyed today's video, then make sure to give it a like as it helps out a lot, and if you're new to the channel and or enjoy the NBA, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. So last night, the Portland Trailblazers were dominating and holding a 20 point lead over the Houston Rockets as early as the first quarter, but this hungry, forgotten about, and slept on group of guys for the Rockets never gave up, ended up coming all the way back from down 20 points to extend their winning streak to four games, which is only their second winning streak of this season, as well as their longest winning streak of this season. I understand this Rockets team has only played 17 games thus far this season, but the fact that this team has only won consecutive games one other time is a bit crazy to me, especially with the fact that they are only one game behind a record of 500 overall. Now, this team's roster has been all over the place with the James Harden trade looming over them for the first nine games of the season, but with the fact that they had a guy many think is a top five player on their roster and only have two winning streaks up to this point is still crazy to me. What's even more wild is this four game win streak that they're currently riding comes immediately after they had just lost three consecutive games in a row. The three game losing streak that they previously suffered makes sense when you factor in that they needed to wait a little bit to get all the players that they acquired in the Harden trade, plus the fact that when you have new guys playing with one another, it's going to take a bit of time for them to get used to each other. But now it feels like this team is really finding their identity and hitting their stride. This team has looked very good over this four game winning streak, grabbing wins over the Pistons, Mavericks, Wizards, and now the Blazers after last night's comeback win. While the Pistons are currently the third worst team in the league, it's still a good win for the Rockets as they had no John Wall who we will come back to in a little bit and the Pistons can step it up on any given night as they have only had three losses that were blowouts or games where you could say they just weren't in it and they've gotten some good wins like their win over the Celtics or their impressive blowout against the Lakers last night and they also have Derrick Rose and Blake Griffin who are of course very talented players who can always take over a game. Blowing out the Mavericks, even despite them having no Chris Stavs Porzingis, was a very good win for Houston. They followed up that blowout with a blowout win against a team they deserve to beat in the Washington Wizards. Then last night, they got the comeback win over the Trailblazers that we mentioned earlier. This team is really starting to come together and hit their stride like mentioned before, and they've surprisingly turned into an entertaining team to watch on any given night, and they very, very well may be this year's Cinderella story in the NBA. If you look at the team stats for the entire 2020 to 2021 NBA season, the only category that the Rockets are top 10 in are blocks per game as well as total blocks. But ever since the James Harden trade and especially with this win streak that they're currently going on, this team is quickly rising up the statistical rankings for totals and per game stats for every category having to do with all four of points, rebounds, three pointers and assists, which I would say are probably the four most important categories to excel in. I didn't even mention the fact that ever since the James Harden trade, this team is playing physical basketball and clamping down as they currently hold the league's best defensive ranking ever since that point. While this team might not be as well coached or as fundamentally sound as the Utah Jazz team we talked about in my previous video, they without a doubt are a hungry team that is currently playing very well as a unit right now. Also similar to that Utah Jazz team who currently holds the best record in the entire league, this Rockets team is getting very good contributions from all the players in their rotation. The Rockets currently have four players averaging points per game totals in the double digits, or if you want to go a step further, they have four players averaging 17 points or more per game. They also have four players averaging above eight points currently, three players averaging above seven points, and P.J. Tucker averaging five points, but with him, it's primarily about his tough physical style and three-point shooting rather than his scoring. If you look at their points per game numbers though, it's truly not surprising that they're riding a four game win streak currently as just getting more than seven or eight points per game out of your seven players not averaging double digits is all this team truly needs when Oladipo, Wood, Wall, and Gordon are all guys that can get you 20 or 30 plus points on any given night. Now, this Rockets team is in a very weird spot currently. 
Oladipo's contract will be expiring this summer, making him an unrestricted free agent. The front office currently has a lot of money tied to John Wall as a result of trying to keep James Harden happy, and now he's a member of the Brooklyn Nets, and they truly don't know yet if Christian Wood will be their young player that they can build around, but of course, the early returns or opinions on Christian Wood should be very positive, with him being a 25-year-old who's averaging a 23-point double-double, as well as nearly two blocks per game. However, this current roster really reminds me very much of a team I watched a lot of two seasons ago, and that would have to be the 2018-19 Brooklyn Nets. This Rockets team has a roster full of guys who have been doubted, slept on, or given up on by other teams. No team wanted to sign Boogie Cousins even when they entered the NBA bubble this past summer and needed more players on their rosters. John Wall was told by the Wizards front office that he wouldn't be traded, and look how that turned out, now he's in Houston. Christian Wood had been working his ass off and stretching and clawing his way to a big contract until he finally got his three-year $41 million deal with the Rockets. And even with that, it seems like he still hasn't given up and is still continuing to improve his game. And lastly, you have Victor Oladipo, who was given up on by the Magic, who traded him for Serge Ibaka, the Oklahoma City Thunder, who sent him off to the Pacers, and now the Pacers gave up on him after two straight disappointing seasons following the quad rupture he suffered. But all of a sudden, Oladipo is only 0.7 points away from tying his career high in scoring and is less than one point away from tying his career high in every single other category. Oladipo even brought up how he always has to go through this in his post-game interview last night on TNT when talking to Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, just come in here and be myself. Um, do what I can on both ends of the floor. Uh, be who I am, and I've always been in the locker room. Uh, continue to uplift my teammates. Uh, you know, without them, I wouldn't have any success. So um, it's been great coming to Houston, and it felt like, you know, all of us are on the same page, and we all have something to prove, and we all want to win. And, once you have the same mentality uh, and you put a group of guys together, uh, special things can happen. Um, so fortunate, you know, going through my career just feels like, you know, people keep kind of quitting on me. But, you know, it's a part of life um, and I embrace it. Um, and um, I'm just trying to make the most of every day. In a year that's a contract year for Oladipo, it looks like he's betting on himself and you don't have to assume that he's playing knowing there's a lot of money on the line for him and could be coming his way this summer. That's exactly why I think this is a team that could very well sneak into the playoffs and give any other top Western Conference team a tougher series than they think. The same way that the Nets team from the 2018-19 season stepped up and came out of nowhere after losing Karis LeVert for a few months, this Rockets team has guys looking to prove their worth and prove that they belong in this league after the James Harden trade was lingering with the team and hanging over their heads and distracting them. It's obvious, especially after Oladipo's post-game interview, that a lot of players in the Houston Rockets locker room are out for revenge. John Wall coming off his Achilles injury, Boogie Cousins getting forgotten about and dropped along with his injuries, Oladipo being given up on multiple times, and Christian Wood fighting to prove his worth and getting disrespected by players and legends such as Shaq. It's clear that this Rockets team is hungry, determined, and looking for revenge, and they're definitely a team both fans and other players around the league need to watch out for this season and keep their eyes on. So I want to know what you guys think about this year's Houston Rockets team and or any of the players in the Rockets roster down in the comments below. Like I mentioned before, if you like this video, then make sure to give it a like as it helps out a lot. And if you're new to the channel and or enjoy the NBA, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. That way you stay up to date with my newest content. Anyway though guys, I'm SCJ and I am out. Peace.